unto the coming of the Lord. Would you be alive and remaining at the coming of Christ? Only God knows that. You don't. Your time is always. You don't know that time. Neither do I. But my hope can be. My hope can be that I can be alive and remain. Yeah, now let me let me bring out the point here. Why would that be such a thrill? I mean, I get it. I may have to go and die physically and go to sleep and join those that are asleep and come back with him, make the return trip back. But I would love to be alive and remain. You couldn't be, Brother Marlow, your age, your time. Friend, friend of mine, quit, quit judging anything before it's time. You don't know how long God will let me live. And I don't know how long God will let you live. So quit worrying about it. Let's just serve the Lord while we're living. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's be busy about the work of the Lord. Quit this business of when am I going to die? When am I going to live? He's going to live so long. He's going to die. You don't know who's going to live. You don't know who's going to die. But it doesn't matter only in this. I, if I die, I'll be with the Lord, with his hope, with the knowledge, with the striving I have. I'll be with the Lord. And I can be sleeping, resting with these saints that are in this uh, chapter Paul is dealing with. But here's a thrill. If we are alive and remain, but we, don't you know, don't you know, it will be a thrill that man has never known, that you could never know, if suddenly he appeared, and you're selected, and you're going with him, and he's coming, and the cry of midnight is made, and he comes. And the bridegroom comes for the bride. And you're just going about your day and you're serving the Lord. You're working. You're busy. You're praying. You're witnessing. You're fulfilling your uh, place in God. And suddenly you feel this tingling in your body. And your blood pressure begins to rise. And you think, I'm having a stroke. But it's not a stroke at all. You're being changed. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Whoa! You're busy preparing a meal. Are you on the job? Are you in the church working? Are you going somewhere to a meeting? Or you're just doing your work and you can't tell what's happening to your body. Uh, but something is happening, and you can't, and suddenly, it isn't a stroke, it isn't your blood pressure, and you hear a voice, behold, the bridegroom cometh, and suddenly, you're lifted, and you rise, but we which are alive and remain, praise our God, praise our God, under the coming of the Lord. Shall not prevent them which are asleep. For when we prevent them, we have nothing to do with them that are asleep. They're under Christ. They're under the altar. We won't prevent them because they're coming with it. And as soon as we levitate and gravitate and our body changes from mortal to immortal, we're with them. What a trip that will be. What a moment that will be. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why. I get excited when we start singing, he's coming again. I'm going to have me a personal revival every time we sing that. Praise the name of the Lord. You all can be calm, cool, and collected if you want to. I'm going to probably disturb you from here on out. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm probably going to disturb some of you. You'll think I'm a wild man in here. I may walk all over this place and shout, Awake! Awake! Let's get ready! He's coming again! Praise the name of the Lord! Hallelujah! And you can do that!
back to. He's coming again. And Sunday isn't coming again. He's come again. Praise the name of the Lord. Well, I'm remain. Then verse uh, uh, verse uh, uh, said that uh, uh, verse 16. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. That's those that are with Him now in the heavenlies. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. I'm not sure geographically in the space above me where he's going to have me meet him. But it's halfway between here and Israel, or whether it's between here and Europe, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to meet him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to be caught up together well, the Lord, how do you know that? You cannot ever have anything without faith to believe it. Nothing can come from God to your life as long as you don't have faith to believe it. I don't believe I'm going to a grave and die and be there in the silence of the grave. I'm going to rise. I'm going to gravitate. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe in overcoming. I believe in the message of overcoming. I believe in being dead in Christ and my senses alive to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I'm going to let you, uh, I'm going to close this and uh, consummate the time here by this. Uh, I, I want to read this because I can quote it, but I, I, I don't like the full impact of it and to close this message uh, for this part of it out anyway on the coming of the Lord and the resurrection uh, but in 1 Corinthians uh, 15 um, and let's go down way down skip a lot of it um, and then, then let's go down to the 50, 50th verse uh, of the 1 Corinthians the 15th chapter and the scripture said um uh, 51, and, and let's take verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. It is a mystery. It is a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. All? Everybody? That means, that means me, Though, no matter what I do, if I'm unfaithful to God, unfaithful to man, if I lie, steal, cheat, I'm going to be changed? No, you're not. And you're not in that all. I'm not in that all. I'm in that all if I'm living godly in Christ Jesus. I'm in that all if I'm an overcomer. I'm in that all if I'm separated from sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I'm not in that all doing my thing. I'm not in it all wandering through the world. But here, I'm in that all if I'm sanctified under the blood and I am committed to Christ. Hope that word affects you. Hope that reaches everybody here. Committed to Christ. And then he says, So... Uh, for this mortal, let me see where I'm at. Uh, in a moment, verse 52, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump, that is the last gospel dispensation, the last gospel trumpet, preaching of the gospel for the end time. And by the way, you are hearing the last trump. By the way, the church is listening to some of the last trump today, right now. And the last trump, this is the last day message. Jesus is coming, get ready, prepare, behold the mystery, and by faith obtain it. And he said, so when this corruptible, for this corruptible, verse 53, 
must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is full up in victory. Now we can sing our song of victory. Song of Moses in the land. Yeah, yeah. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. Strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. So what do we do then? Since we have this vision, you that have it, what do we do then that we have this victory, we that have it, what do we do with that? So, therefore, my beloved brethren and sisters, I'm going to deliberately misquote this to see how many is listening at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, all right. I'm going to deliberately misquote this. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be you wish washy no. 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 changeable no. a little faith no. can be blown over with a feather no. chased down the road by a carnal mind no. 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 little victory or none no. No. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord yeah. the easily Lord. moved no. No. easily to give up no. 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 Hear false doctrine as well as the truth. No. No. Never know where you're standing in no. God. No. All your determination gone. No. 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 Easily offended. No. 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 She hurt my feet. She hurt my feet. Letting someone get in front of you. No. No. Oh, no. Bothered by what you see in religion? No. Today I'm red hot. No. Tomorrow I'm a frozen tundra. No. No. First we guess. I knew I would go all the way today. today. No. Tomorrow. No. Today I'm not sure. No. 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 Bless God, where's that devil? Yes. <coughs> devil, let me get away from you, huh? No, no, no. Charge him. It bothers me what I see in religion. No. No. B, all right, you ready, brother? We're ready. My elders back there? Yes. All around me? Yeah. In Brother Wallace, I'm glad a few weeks ago when the doctor told you that you had two to three tumors, yeah. malignant cancer in your stomach. Yeah. That's what he said. I missed two services or one. Uh, Not many. How many? Two maybe. Pouring five hours of chemicals into his body. Yeah. Yeah. Leave him putting five hours of chemicals in his body, yeah. chemotherapy. And he'd show up here at church. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praising the Lord. Yes. Yeah. 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 Praising the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Because cancer won't conquer that body. No, sir, brother. I said cancer won't conquer that body. Yeah. Did you know nothing will conquer you with Jesus Christ in you? The hope of glory. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. If you believe that, somebody shout about it. Yeah. There's miracles every time we come in the house of God. God changes somebody for his glory. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and therefore be a steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that you're is not in vain in the Lord.
Praise our God. Praise our God. He's coming again. He's coming again. Oh, praise his holy name. He's coming again. Oh, praise his holy name. As we move into 2015, and God allows me to continue in the office I hold as a pastor, and he doesn't, he'll raise it up among the elders around me. I'll prophesy today, and God will let my prophecy come true, that church can no longer be the church of yesterday. It must be the church of today. Praise the name of the Lord. Did you hear what I said? Yes. We must move into the glory of God. I said we must move into the glory of God. We must start praising the Lord when we come in the house of God. Let's start praising Him. Dance in the Spirit from the first song. Praise God from the time you hit the door. Don't worry about somebody saying, service hasn't started yet. We ought to be quiet here when they sing that first song. Humbug, praise God. Amen. Amen. Stop it. You can praise God when you walk through that door. Go ahead and praise Him. Hallelujah. Let's move the church from the form and ritualism and dogma it's got into and the churchism. Let's move it out into the Holy Ghost. And let the glory of God come in. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I getting through? Am I getting through? Yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Quit shivering in the darkness and say, I am defeated already. I feel it coming on. Elizabeth, this is the big one. Praise our God. You know. Amen, amen, amen. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop being afraid. Stop letting fear conquer us. Stop letting things of life overcome. Let's have a glorious church. I said, let's have a glorious church without spot or wrinkle or any such thing in it. We have the hope of the world. We are the light of the world. We're the soul of the earth. We're a candle. We're a city set on a hill. That's why I get happy and can even preach an hour and a half or so message or whatever I've been on my feet. Did you know I had nothing of this when I stepped to that pulpit? Did you know the God of heaven touched my mind after one song that was in the Holy Ghost? You don't have to make up anything. God has everything prepared. Praise the name of the Lord. for a message God already knows what you need he knows somebody to give it to you I said God knows what you need